Day two of mini camp, and man, it's looking good so far for the defense. The offense uh, still coming along, struggling, but man, I'm happy to hear what we're hearing from the defense because we know that it, that unit was sorely needing an upgrade and addressing you know some issues that we dealt with last year. What's up, it's your boy Central Comic Catch you with another analysis video in the kitchen. Not that's my real name. Eagles practice notes, cornerback competition continues. Will Shipley steps up. So let's get into the observations. All right, so um, the secondary depth chart notes. Isaiah Rogers started out as a first team corner and he rotated in with um, Quinion Mitchell and um, Keely Ringo. So the 707s, they were, they were um, out there, but Rogers took back over and, when, and we had 11 on 11. So um, everybody's, everybody's been looking good across from Slay. So I know he's like, damn, I feel so good about the depth this year. If someone goes down that, you know, we'd have a, you know, a starter in, in waiting in the wings and would have, you know, um, too much of a drop off, if any at all. Um, Cooper Jean getting some first time, first team, first time, not first time, but, you know, um, some first team nickel action and looking good there, man. We'll get to his play in a second. Um, depth chart with um, linebackers, Zach Bond and, and Devin White are running mostly with the first team. And yeah, I like it, man, because um, Zach is showing his versatility. Thought of, I thought it was an edge guy coming in, you know. But I saw he played off ball linebacker, but um, he really popped with the Saints playing on the edge. So you thought that he'd be brought in, in exclusively to do that. But so far, he's been in front of Nicobe Dean, who got you know second team work, got some reps in there in the first team. But uh, him and Brandon Smith, and you know, I, I, I don't know, man. Nicobe just might have to he's might have to deal with being getting the short end of the stick. You can't beat the guys in front of you. Uh, tough luck. All right, offensive line, uh, Makai Becton starting out as the uh, the left guard, um, filling in with Lane, with Lane Johnson out last week um, at right tackle, but um, he could be our sixth guy, our sixth man, our NBA guy. Uh, pass catchers, John Ross saw some action with the starters. You know, he, he's you know, looking decent, man. He might look like he might snatch up a roster spot. And Grant Calcaterra, and he had um, a couple passes go his way, you know, but looking good, you know, as a tight end too. But, you know, his real issue, can he block? Um, has he gotten better in that regard or is he just more of the same? If he could, he'd be our automatic number two because he can run. We know that. Um, Hurts up and down. We'll get into that later, but, you know, he doesn't look sharp. Um, has he been targeting Paris Campbell just because it's, you know, it's, you know, extension OTAs, you know, mini camp, and he's just another guy. Because, you know, he, he's definitely fifth in, you know, targets department. But um, will he truly make use of him in that speed he has? Because he can be a weapon down the field, across the middle, in shorts, you know. Not just in shorts, but in the short area. Um, you know, he's throwing some some picks back-to-back -back practices. And, you know, we'll see what he does tomorrow and uh, how he closes out. But, you know, I'm not worried about him being, you know, he's not the, you know, supreme practice player. But, you know, um it's going to be some, some bumps and bruises, or I should say some adjustments, bumps along the way with acclimating to this offense. Um, but yeah, the defensive guys, you be liking what you're hearing. We'll uh, get to this guy blanket shit, but he, he's making plays out there. And yes, he popped in training camp last year. He still was our, he was our more, most consistent DB. Um, but, you know, they upgraded the talent around him, so I think that'll help boost his game as well. Keep returning game, um, Shipley, John Ross, Cedric Gardner John, uh, Johnson taking a few. Um, Anaya Smith, Britton Covey, Tyrion Davis Price, Isaiah Rogers, you know, Kenny Gainwell taking uh, snaps out there. So we got the first look at it. And um, yeah, man, I don't know. Um, what we'll to see, you know, how, that, how we do it in um, live action preseason, pre but teams won't be giving away too, too much. All right, Kenny Pickett. Um, Opposite hash throw to John Ross. Like I said, he's becoming a common guy, um, common target for him, and uh, it's nice to see him run into shape somewhat. So Ross made a one-handed snag on a, a picket throw that was a little wider than it ideally should have been. But, hey, man, Ross, man, um, if he can be the fifth receiver for us or, you know, the practice squad stash, I'd love that. So we're going to knock down a packet, a, pa a packet, <laughs> a pass intended for uh, Ross off of the numbers. Sticky coverage. Sounds good, man. Like I said, um, it would be strange to see him out there starting or if he was the, you know, the 
he'd be an option for to come off the bench, the first guy for the left or, or right cornerback spot. Because somebody's gonna, you know, two guys is gonna lose, but still we win with the depth. Saquon Barkley had a couple of catches, but they were check downs in the flat. Haven't really seen them utilize the backs as, you know, um, anything more than a dump off option. Um, and then even that, then, you know, Jalen Hurts, he's reticent to, you know, to get to his backs. And he did, I think, this practice because, you know, he just scan, scan, and had to dump it off to him, which is nice. I want to see that. Don't hold him to the ball, you know, trying to make magic with every play. You know, uh, you're going to have to settle for some uh, homebody action sometimes. Yeah, Isaiah Rogers breaking on the ball, man. Uh, just excellent. We'll get into that in a second. We try to tight coverage on the short Hurts completion to Takaka Terra. I like that. Gene, um, his one, uh, near one handed pick. So we'll, we'll just talk about this now. Um, he was um, Garden Smith, and um, he wasn't being thrown the ball, but the ball was going to AJ. And Jalen kept his eyes on him a little bit too much, and he decided to jump the route. Um, you know, floated off this man, came off of uh, Smith to go to um, to Brown. I guess maybe it surprised him or a little bit uh, harder than he thought. Dropped the ball, but man, would have been a great pick. But man, just the awareness he has, these rookies, man, they playing out there. And I heard a lot of Quinn and Mitchell's name today. Um, Titan coverage, you know. I had to go away from A.J. Brown because, you know, he's Titan coverage. I'm loving what I'm hearing, man, because it's it just... It, it, it's it's night and day from last year. Night and day. All right, Devin White um, got in on an untouched blitz. Jalen Hurts. Hey, man, you use his tools that he has, and he's a great blitzer. I hope that he's really featured, you know, within our scheme, and especially on the inside. You know, surprising. He's just such a, a mover. All right, Fred Johnson lined up a left tackle, got bowled over by Jalex Hunt. Interesting, man. Um, I'm, I'm not taking reading too, you know, into this at all. Even if it was, you know, even if it was Lane Johnson, I'd be like, hmm, okay. But you know, you gotta be consistent. You gotta um, day in and day out show the same um, consist consistency to uh, improve. And he he can flash in the pan, but he's not gonna be consistently scrumpy, you know, whatever. I fucked it up. Anyways, Will Shipley had his best practice by far. Um, he was. Uncomfortable and unnatural the other day, but today um, targeted often and, and caught all the passes that came his way. So nice making that adjustment. You know, it's, but being you know a pro is about taking notes, learning from your mistakes, and coming back the next day and improving. Um, so yeah, on rollout by McKee, getting it ball to him. Um, Johnny Wilson made a nice catch against Keely Ringo, which is nice because Keely's um, playing pretty pretty well this spring. Um, it's about summer now. But yeah, I mean, he's gonna struggle. Don't expect him to produce at all. If he could be a red zone weapon, that'd be like best case scenario. Tanner McKee made one of the best throws I've seen. Um, a 20 yard catch and run, hit um, Wilson right in rhythm, right, he's just coming out of his break. And hey man, Tanner, I think, like I said, next year he'll be ready. But this year he's still gonna, you know, keep the training wheels on and just absorb what he can. Kenny Gainwell had a short path to right to his hands. You know, Kenny's in, you know, on and off at times. Um, Eli Ricks had a bad loss to give up a catch to try our player uh, Griffin Herbert. So I mean, that's my thing with him, like, like him as well. Consistency. He's been he's had some highs, had some lows. Um, he made the roster as a you know UDFA undrafted free agent last year, but you know that was kind of an overshot. You know, he kind of came back to the pack right where he should have been. Um, but this for me, I'm, I'm probably going to do a note on this because you're not even watching. But hard to contextualize the frequency relative to practices in previous years. But I've definitely noticed safeties rotating right before the snap in an effort to disguise coverage. So, again, that's a shout out to Vic Rangio and him teaching, you know, and his guys teaching right because we could not for the life of me disguise, you know, um, in recent years. And his disciple kind of failed at it, you know, teaching aspect maybe. So, all right, anyways, uh, the Jalen Hurts watch. Um, again, you know, not better. You know, another hot and cold day, mixed bag. Um, he hit some guys, so um, he, he threw he threw a bad pick where he tried to force it in there to uh, through Reed Blankenship. He tipped it up, and then Devin White again getting active, getting the ball. Hey man, love what I'm hearing. Um, in motion, what we're seeing, motion. Uh, they, Dallas got her in motion, and he, uh, he threw it to uh, Barkley in the flat. 
Um, it, yeah, man, it just, you know, he's not um, Sproles, but yeah, you're, seeing, you're gonna see more, more routes run by these guys. Um, Paris Campbell slant on an easy, uh, easy pickup. I, I'm loving it, man. He's got a leg up, but yeah, I mean, like I said, how much is this? It just camp. Is he just, you know, practicing? Um, he looked for Goddard being blanketed by Quinion Mitchell. So Quinion getting in there, man. And then Quinion, um, sticking Brown, like I said, the kids in there getting, he's, getting, he's, he's making his plays, man. And so, I mean, I like all three corners. I, now I'm thinking about, man, it could be any one of these guys. Any one of these guys to be, you know, the second guy across from Slay. And then next year, the spring war from that, you got Keely Ringo, you got Quinion Mitchell, and you got Cooper DeGene. And then it, let's just say we maybe keep it, um, Rogers around. That quintet, I mean, a quartet. Damn. And then, you know, like Sean Stevens, if he could step, you got a beautiful secondary. I mean, I, I just, I ain't even want to use that word, but it just came to mind. All right, play action in that uh, fake a handoff and hit uh, John, uh, John Ross on a, a button hook. So, I mean, I love to see that. You know, just a little sprinkling here and there of what your true offense is going to be. Um, this is, just, you know, dress rehearsals, um, of Kellen Moore's, you know, true, true, uh, true looks, but it is what it is. Okay. Um, on a deep slant, um, a play action again. So, hey man, it'd be, it'd be money if we go to it. Campbell motions, and this time he hits Goddard. So a lot of eye candy, you see a lot of motion, these motions, they're not going to the initial guy. And I don't know what we saw because, you know, saw in Dallas offenses where, it was a play action, but it went to the same guy that they played play action to, which, you know, it's a running back um, out the backfield. So I love those, you know, like just making defenses think a little bit too much out there. Um, but yeah, this is the, the pick. The great, great read. Great read. Um, and then after that, he connects with Goddard, you know, just getting back on, on uh, track. And stacks, you know, stack trips left, Smith motions. And then um, he hit Smith, so I, I like that. Um, you know, like that's where you know you, you you know what we were talking about just just a, a second ago. You hit the same guy that you know you motion to, so it's not just you know a dummy motion. You gotta really pay credence to you know that guy going across. You know, even if you think he's just a dead target. And you're talking about the sack there. Um, Vic Fangio maximizing the talent. What the guys can do individually is where it's at. Um, let's see. Free play, Ross and Smith are both in a slot, so interesting. You know, just seeing diff different alignments, different formations, um, different focuses, and you know, making the most of that speed. So, just putting that speed next to Smith, he might get you know some extra you know extra space, um, and it definitely opens things up for uh, for AJ, and that's where it went. And just some and got it, you know. Um, yeah, her first read wasn't open, and he hit and got it, you know, for a quick little slant. He's got, you know, he's a mini AJ, you know, a very poor man's AJ, but um, C plus, I'll take it, man, because like Her I said, Hurst is going to be the greatest practice guy, but he's going to uh, definitely show up in game time. He just has too much speed, too much talent, um, a lot of experience to not shine out there. So some things that, you know, weren't mentioned in the other article, I like to double up with these. Let's get into it. So Keely Ringo ran stride for stride um, down the sideline with Paris Campbell. Um, Aaron Price from CJ GJ, and then with John Ross. So uh, John Ross ran that 4-2-2, but Keely ran a 4-3-6 and definitely stick with, you know, if you can stick with him, he can stick with anybody in the league. That includes, you know, the deadly Z D uh, Xavier Worthy. All right, um, Isaiah Rogers made an excellent play on a short throw to AJ Brown. Um, okay, that, that was the other day, but you know, out route, by just when God, he cut that. I almost had himself another pick six. So, I mean, just like I said, he's he's just, he's flashing, man. Him, Quinion, and um, your boy, uh, your boy, your boy, um, Isaiah Rogers. I mean, I'm, I'm thinking of, uh, sorry, Keely Ringo. Any man maybe can get the job done. Um, he mixed in with the ones, and then there was a pre snap where he looked, you know, he was in dime. So, it's been a second day running that he's been in dime look and um he can cover a bigger player i like that oh yeah so whoever plays across slate from slate man they're gonna get some work but it's beautiful so you know safety's a lot of getting active in coverage i like it it's gonna be better than last year 
Um, we, we talked about that, you know, the, the pick that, you know, ended up going to Devin White, that re shit broke up, and then he broke up another pass. Um, I think, yeah. I don't know if you got a pick, I forget. Um, but Zach Brown stayed in, in uh, Saquon Barkley's hip pocket, so instead of getting burned on um, a, a wheel ride on, down the field, he's sticking with them stride for stride. And just showing you, man, um, he's not the athlete that White is, but he can still uh, play technically sound. And Devin White can move, definitely know that. He's the fastest linebacker we had in a while since, you know, maybe Michael uh, Kendricks, who ran a 4-4 um, himself. But man, like, I just think he's gonna be, you know, active, gonna be able to stick his nose here and there because other guys are doing such a great job that he can just be free to make plays. I've said this, you know, ad nauseum, but lovely. All right, and definitely, if I agree with the sentiment, if uh, Zach Bond sticks as a starter, you definitely have to say that Vic Vangelo is, you know, controlling um, his his side of the ball, his defense. He's had, he has free reign out there, so I would love to see that happen because let the best man win. I don't care about draft pedigree or you know who came in much ballyhooed and all this stuff. I want to see the best eleven guys out there on defense. And Tanner McKeever, the sharpest quarterback. Um, hitting CJ Uzoma on a deep over route in stride. Um, a good timing uh, route to Britton Covey on a slant. Jalen Hurts just being okay. He targeting his usual guys. I mean, sure. I mean, it's, how could you not get the ball to those guys slash missed him? Um, Kenny Pickett missing, you know, showing that he's been, he's up and down, but, you know, he, he, he flashes, but, you know, he's still taking to the coaching and it's a new system for him. So, like to see what he can do with it, but you know, don't have your expectations up to here with him. Nice Smith having a rough day, you know, um, <laughs> having a, a ball clang off his hands, and then you know, uh, the muff punts again. But Brady Man getting in some work and looking nice out there. So, um, the roster shaping up, man. It's shaping up. But uh, anyways, we'll get up out of here because you're not even watching them. But it's all good because hey, I love talking about the Eagles and I love making this video. So we'll chunk the deuces officially. But as always, as always. It's fly, eagles fly, and let's motherfucking go. Thanks for watching. Check me out at Centron, Centron Anime, Centron Life, or Centron Laughs, or other social media.